I should really get back to investigating the police department crime scene. Oh my god, game. Okay, 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 right. okay. Uh, d d entrance and guard station. guard station and can we like click on the thing now or something? I don't know. Or do we need to like look at the thingy? No, it's not here still. Do we need to show that to Gant? Um, well, let's let's do look at this. Okay. He was filing a report for um a lost something. A lost thing. who knows. Yeah, let's cool. show it to Gant. See what he says about it. Bum, Gant bum. is the only person that doesn't have full four text boxos. So fuck it. Bum, 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 bum. And and then he can go and yell at the chief of detectives for no, nope. not that, not that, not, not that. Okay. Um. So back to just like throwing things in front of this guy's face. Jesus Christ. Okay. Is. Why did they tell me to go look at the police department crime scene if there wasn't anything uh, at the crime scene for me to look at? Something here, yeah. Should we, it, should, let's try examining something in here. Fuck it, okay. we haven't done that yet. Fuck it, <laughs> this thing. The blue badger is still writhing around today. So, okay, immediately hits the blue badger. Fuck. This thing's so creepy. Oh my god, it's such a little piece of shit. That's not gonna sync up at all with the audio unless you do something to it. That's a, which might That's be good in this case, cause like, it might be I think even it fits creepier. Better. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, delay. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's dancing. Speaking of dancing, the whole police department has been dancing around like crazy since yesterday. Can I take out his batteries, please? <laughs> I just can't help but feel he's gonna do something evil. Naughty. I know it naughty. says naughty, but naughty. <laughs> naughty. <laughs> naughty. Have you seen uh, the Tom Cardi video, Naughty or Nice? No. Uh, have, you, have you seen any Tom Cardi? <laughs> no. Oh, it's I was, so I was, worth it. So I was worth doing it. the he's fucking, fucking um, Courage the Cowardly Dog villain. <laughs> I haven't seen that either. So, <laughs> we both have uh, homework, I guess. Okay, what are the two detectives over there talking about? Look, that patrolman is saluting the other guy. He must be the detective. Um, answer me. How many fingers do you see? Uh, sorry, I don't know. Uh, that's 20 for the left, but nowhere near that on the right. Get glasses, officer! That wasn't a salute. It was an eye test. They make a good pair. I ship it. <laughs> Mr. Wright, do you know why patrol cars are painted black and white? No idea. Why? Well, I think they're designed after a panda. A panda? Not that I have scientific proof. It's just a theory. A game you know, theory. Because, because both of them are, you know, ecologically unable to continue existence in the modern <laughs> world. Um <laughs> Um, do you mind me asking how you came up with that theory? That's it. No, no, nothing else. No, it was a school. I, it was when I was on a school trip. I saw a patrol car, and it came to me. We had just been at the zoo, see? Uh-huh. What about zebras? Or did they not have those at your zoo? No, those are just ecologically viable. She went to Ueno. She went to Ueno <laughs> Zoo in uh, Tokyo. <laughs> Did you get to go to Oena Zoo when you were in I did. <gasps> Was it cool? I saw the pandas. Oh. Uh, I think they... I actually don't think they have zebras at Ueno. <laughs> that might I make some correctly. sense. I, I yeah. will say, by the way, I'm not anti-panda. Look, I, I, they are dumb. They're really cute, but let's be real. They're dumb as fuck. They're, they're very they're dumb. They're not as dumb as koalas, but they're pretty dumb. Police. I always get excited when I come to a police station. That's weird. Why is that? I love seeing human rights violated. It just feels like I've jumped into a movie where human rights are being violated. <laughs> uh huh. 
you know, with all the police and criminals. Well, I don't know if this is all that exciting. Sure it is. Oh, look at those two officers over there. The ones doing Wait, the, eye the ones test are perfect eye test? for each other. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably talking about the latest bust between doing an eye test. We've already... This joke would have played better if we did it in the other direction. Funny. I thought they were talking about the weather. Do you two both have short-term memory loss? My goodness. The usual London posters are hanging up on a bulletin board here. Do you know this face? If you do, dial 911. You know, Mr. Wright, I've always thought it was kind of funny. I've never seen anyone who looked like the people in these posters. They hardly even look human. She has a point. <laughs> okay. okay. That was useless. Okay. Uh, Lothuses, maybe? Should we show Emma some- Oh my oh god! Oh my god! Fuck, Fuck off. off! Fuck <laughs> off! Fuck off! <sighs> Off. There was no indication that that had, What the fuck? I, I guess I should have remembered that we needed permission to get in there. Oh my Fucking God. hell. Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Hmm? Well, I never thought the day would come when Rido would ask me for help. Yeah, neither did we. We were having a lot of trouble finding it. I was wondering if we could investigate the evidence room. <laughs> Don't stare at me, those big ol' eyes. Why do your eyes have spiral power? <laughs> now, Rido. From Gurren Lagan. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. I don't need to investigate it after all. Rido, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Maybe. Huh? Don't know. Heck, if anyone asks me, sir, can I borrow $50? I give him $50. No problem. Hey, can I have $50? So go ahead. Investigate that room to your heart's content. Knock yourself out. It just goes to show, you never know until you ask. Also, can I have fifty dollars? Phoenix <laughs> is using all of my luminol. <laughs> and for you, here, you could borrow this. Uh hey, this is a detective's ID card, isn't it? That's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. Yes, sir! It's an honor. I'm gonna frame it. You, you just run along now and do your best. Later, folks. See ya! Peace! <laughs> Looks pretty cool on my lapel, doesn't it? Just think, a real ID. A real guest ID. You seem happy. I take it when I can get it, Mr. Wright. Yes, sir. Because, sir, we get to go into the evidence room now. Sir! Try You've been talking to Meekins too much. Yeah, it rubs off on you. I think this is a. I think this place is a bad influence on the girl. I need to leave now, Mr. Wright. I can feel you're, it. You're warm. turning it's into one of my them. Brain. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where did this all armband the, come from? Get me out of here! All the science is draining out of me. I no, feel like I'm gonna my fail. Science. <laughs> I think I'm gonna no. fail my placement tests. No. <laughs> no we have okay. to go back to the evidence uh, and, to entrance, entrance and then go and to the guard back station. To the guard station and and, and now then we, can, we can click and on now the thing. We, we can. We can do this. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> the evidence room is beyond that door. And we have the ID card from Chief Gant. Let's just walk in. It won't open. Aha, the card reader is turned off, see? What is this, that security guard thinking? Howdy, partners. At least on that one, there is no fucking doubt because of how it starts. <laughs> it can't be anyone else. Yeah. Well, well, what's made my Bambina sky so gray? It's me, the smooth fucking cowboy. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Officer Marshall. I do love his music. It's kind of wonderful. Why does it have to be him? Why does it also feel like it's out of a Zelda game, though? Yeah. Yeah, right? Like, yeah, as soon no, as this you is, think about it. This is a Zelda song. Yeah. You would have anyway. this in, like, a deserty kind of area. Right? Yeah. Oh, what's that? Why does it have to be him look for? Or what's that? Why does it have to be him look for? I'm great. Why, why can everyone read my mind? Very easy to read, Mr. Wright. As you may have surmised, this here is my saloon. Um, we're here to investigate the crime scene. Hmm. Yeehaw. That card you got there on your chest. 
That's better than a sheriff's badge in these parts. Well, yeah, because you're not sheriffs. Yeah, a sheriff's badge wouldn't mean much, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Yee-haw? Well, what you stand there for? Get along, little doggies. Crime scenes are waiting. Beep. Beep. <laughs> Looks like the card reader's on again. While we're here, I was wondering if I could ask you some questions. Sorry, cowboy, but I got no mind to tangle with you hombres. You're busy then? But I say that? I only said I didn't wish to speak with you. Actually, you said you had no mind to tangle with us, hombres. That is exactly what that means. Okay, so we can give him the steak, right? Steak time! Thank God. Well, just like a vampire, we can deal with him with a steak through the heart. Fuck yes. Cowboy vampire. That smell. Ah, reminds me of Texas. <laughs> so, Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? No. He's from West LA. No, I just saw a special on television the other day. The other day? The other day. <laughs> but he's worn this forever. Yeah. I... I mean, I... I like the old West. I don't know. I, <laughs> oh boy! Like my bolo knife. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I actually love it. I, <laughs> if I if I could shave, I'd want to try it at least once. I'm just saying. My my skin is sensitive. I, I don't want to touch. I don't want to touch that shit. <laughs> oh, that's fair. But you know that. See, like I have no idea. <laughs> eh, whatever. No, I just saw a special on television the other day. Is this from my baby? Hello, my baby. Hello, my oh, honey. My honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Hello, uh, darkness, my old friend. I cannot not think of that meme now when I hear that song. That is what memes have done to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ms. Star. She actually said you guys weren't dating, so that's a little disingenuous. Well, what's this? What? What's wrong? A filet steak lunch. I see. I see. You see, the thing is, Angel Star actually understands the language of lunchboxes. She does. <laughs> I don't it's like, see. <laughs> it's like flower language, but dumber. Yes. <laughs> okay, so on that side note, I didn't really know that flower language was like a term that was an actual thing. Mm -hmm. And so when I was first like... Um, playing through or like seeing playthroughs of uh 999 and it's brought up i was like what the fuck are they talking about flower language why are they talking about it like it's just a thing and then later someone explained it i was like oh shit it is a thing okay. <laughs> yeah it's just a thing <laughs> it's just a thing got it uh, lunchbox language all right I, mm -hmm. I, i'm picking it up okay but i don't see i wonder what it means i don't speak lunchbox language steak lunch given to officer marshall all right, Bambina, you win. Ask me... Ask me anything. <laughs> Finally, it seems like... He's willing to talk. Quit reading my mind. <laughs> Get out of my head. No. <laughs> I like it here. It's cozy. And, Edge and there's just like pictures of Edgeworth everywhere. It's great. The sheriff's back in the Wild West didn't place much faith in evidence. That's why we got rid of them. Yeah. About the only thing they trusted was their shooting hand. Um, this is neither wild nor... Well, not as the West, if we're in California, whatever. Uh, or it's is... the East, if we're in Japan. That's true. Look, this isn't the Wild West, okay? Why are you a cowboy? <laughs> <laughs> But that and this are two different things entirely. What? That and this are two different things entirely. Huh? <laughs> that and this are two... No, we <laughs> heard you. It's just... Look, I'm lost. <laughs> Looks like we need some evidence to get anywhere. This guy, I showed him evidence. I showed him evidence. The sheriff's back in the wild. Cowboy spittoons. Okay, okay, okay. We'll just we'll just go in there. We'll go in yeah. the fucking evidence room and look around. We'll be able to find evidence in there that he'll like, huh? 
Yeah, like a fishing. Oh my god! It's the fucking stuff. For, look, oh, it's it's the metal detector in the fishing yeah. rod from Game. <laughs> <laughs> is is, where's is missile? missile? Where's missile back here? Where is February twenty third, evidence room sector three. Is he asleep? <laughs> Good night, Mister the Missile. <laughs> it's quiet. The investigation must be over the here. So this well, is must the be over room? here. And I got what you were saying. I got it. It's. It really is kind of like a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. Nice try, Mr. Wright. You you can't scare me. Boo! Ah! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh, and it's the... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Gumshoe snuck off on her. S sorry, I, I thought you were a ghost. I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts on the head, pal. She just Makes them angry. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Makes those also, ghosts angry. They'll, they'll haunt you. Um, you. You can't see it unless the text, the dialogue box is gone. But there's also the um, electromagnetic uh, reader is mm -hmm. in there as well from game two, which we haven't come across yet in our playthrough. But, yeah, this, uh, is, this gum, is trying to bridge the yeah. gap a little yeah. bit. Yeah, but Gumshoe's, like, homemade reader is there, which is very funny. So, so yeah. is it true what I heard? Righto, please, do I look like a selfish man? Heck, if anyone asks me, for, sir, can I borrow $50, I'd give him $50. No problem. So go ahead, investigate that room to your heart's desire. Knock yourself out. Yeah, it's true. So chief of police, so chief of police Gant will loan anyone 50 bucks? Even me? Oh, yeah, that's where my head went to, actually. But I'm glad to know we're on the same wavelength here with this. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I was put in charge of the investigation for the day. Just for today. Boss for a day. But guess what? You got permission from the chief, so now you're a boss for the day. That is not how that works. <laughs> Gee, thanks. First of all, you'll want to have this. We will? Okay. Boom, ba -da -boom. Boss for a day. So, Detective Gumshoe, you're boss for the day. That's right. It's Nana. After all, the murder took place right here in the police department. But if you're boss, why are you all alone? Where are your underlings and your minions? Banana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, get there were, kick that thing out of here. <laughs> there was there was so much minion stuff when I was in Japan. They love minions in Japan. Huh? I guess it. They're little sure. mascot characters yeah. with a crude sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, that does track. <laughs> They're using yesterday's findings to prepare for tomorrow's trial. In other words, you got kicked out of the investigation again. I'm adamant, though. I'm adamantium. Whoa, that's pretty cool. I'm going to take control and put this case to rest. In my own evidence locker, pal. You have a locker in here, too, Detective Gumshoe? To <laughs> have, of course. I'm a detective, after all. They gave me a locker that only I can open, pal. Only you can open? Edgeworth. I'll always believe in Mr. Edgeworth, no matter what happens. So, Mr. Edgeworth is with the Inquiry Committee right now. Now, right? Right now, right? Now, right now, They're trying now, to figure right? out who's responsible for the mess up in court today. I'm going to plow right through you saying now and right over and over again. That's fair. <laughs> it was it was kind of a mid-bit, to be honest. <laughs> I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Mr. Edgeworth just can't get away from that case. DL6. That DL6. case? Yeah, that case. The SL9 incident, of course. What? That Fucking was the beginning what? of the end for Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> Holy shit. I thought that was DL6 <laughs> as well. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case? Man, nope. I love how Gumshoe just like, he just has dialogue boxes, you know? Like He just has no, them, yeah. Yeah, no need to present him evidence. He just tells us shit. Oh, I think we're going to have to present to him something SL9 related. Yeah, but like for right now, he's given us three with nothing. What a, what a guy. That's true. 
What a champion This place men. is more high-tech than you might think. Every locker is fixed so only one detective could open it. Using their ID card? Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. Why, I'm on my third card since entering the force already. That sounds like a lot. Yeah, but I can't... Even I can't lose my own right hand. Whoa, whoa, what happened to his... What? Your own what right hell? hand? Oh, right, right hand. hand? Oh, you mean your fingerprint. Exactly, pal. The lock... There, there you go. A pal. A pal really yeah, fixes it for me. Yeah, pal helps you out there. <laughs> exactly, pal. The lock for each locker is coated with a fingerprint. So the only locker we could open is our own. You might want to shove in your sleeve oh, a little bit better. Look, he's got a picture of Maggie. That's cute. That's cute. We haven't met her yet, guys, but no, she's pretty cute. Funny. They look like normal lockers. These are the latest model. There's a trick to the handles, see? The handles? On the other side of the handles is a sensor. If the wrong person touches it... Zap! You get a shock! If that's what happened, my hand would be black and spoken every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There are even some people on the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. How do they get it to open then? Like, what if they just <laughs> pulled on it in a weird and different way? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I don't want to look at this. I, I want to present it to him. Detective Goodman's note, that switchblade knife. I bet Edgeworth was the most surprised of anyone. Because of the SL line collection. That was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know. Two big, two big years ago. <laughs> two years? That's it? <laughs> yeah. Two years. Well, he is a baby, remember? That's Everyone true. Everyone in this case is ridiculous. Everyone in Phoenix Wright is ridiculously young. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. Also, wow. I am going to, for this part, send you a picture, if you want to use it, of a... Uh, my lizard staring at the screen, looking at Gumshoe in, uh, in absolute <laughs> awe. Just <laughs> hell yeah! It's pretty cute. <laughs> I can't. But get why would evidence? Shot, but yeah, okay. Continue. Why would evidence from that case turn up now? I guess it's not over, pal. It's not over till they say it's over. Maybe there's some loose ends left on that case. Okay. Get a better look there. All that junk. Some sort of bulky equipment is gathering dust here. What a sorry, what a sorry looking fishing pole that is. Sorry, my dog is now also uh, <laughs> interested in what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> All the pets. Ah, that's my personal bowl. Never did get around to using it. Wait, I've seen that word somewhere before. Right, pal. That's the metal detector. The one that led to solving of that case out in Gord Lake, remember? Oh, right. Oh, that feels like it was ages ago. <laughs> You're like telling a month me. ago, wasn't it? Like, no. Uh, it, it wasn't that long ago, but yeah. It would have been in, in game. It would have been, it was December, because it was almost Christmas. That's right. And I don't remember <laughs> what time it is now, but I know it's like been just like a couple of months or something like that. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's, it's February. Uh, yeah. That's right, it's February. It's, it's, late, yeah, it's a it's couple months February. ago. Jesus Christ. Yeah. How can I forget that? Because the, they keep putting that up. This is, yeah. my, this is the power of my ADHD, folks. <laughs> it does not give a fuck about time some days. To just, be fair, we have been recording for two hours because this... Case My God, never this, ends. Yeah, it does not. I I was I've been looking at the clock. Like, hopefully we can get to the the uh, trial, but I'm not sure we're gonna for this recording. I feel like we're close. I, we yeah. just have to get to the part. Let's where we... see if we can get out of the evidence room. And, yeah, and maybe then it'll be done. Oh right! Wow, that feels like it was ages ago. Yeah. And hmm, don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, that that's a bug sweeper. I'm sure it'll come in handy in solving some case sooner or later. Yeah, we haven't gotten to this one yet. Don't worry about it. it it'll come up. <laughs> don't, don't, not an issue right now. Just don't even think about it. <laughs> that cheap looking box. You can't judge a person or a machine by their cover. You gotta look in their heart. Wow. 
Look at this big pile of junk in the corner. That looks like a car door. There's a pair of handcuffs attached to the frame. Maybe the guy they caught was some sort of escape artist and he got away. Hey, that's one of those human profiles for range testing. He's been shot square in the forehead. Better him than us. I suppose so. Yeah, in general. Hello. There's something sticking out of here. Looks like a shirt. I guess it must be evidence for some case. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe put this here. There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. And that said, I bet that evidence locker was open recently. How do you know? If you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The what guard checks on that kind here? of stuff and notifies the detective responsible. What now? <laughs> I know, I just, I like, the, it gets like dirty or ripped. Yeah. Okay, I, I yeah. think I do understand what he's saying now. That, like, the chance of damage to the evidence means that you're not supposed to do that. Mm -hmm, but the mm -hmm. way he phrased it makes it sound <laughs> like Marshall comes in here and is like, Oh, loose Rip. evidence? Better just destroy this shit before I notify them. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have I had him breathing down my neck about some silly evidence? After he destroyed it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Detective Gumshoe leaves evidence hanging out a lot, too. I bet he doesn't tuck in his shirt under that trench coat either. Well, that would be a weird thing to do, so, you know. If you're going to talk behind on someone's back, don't do it right in front of them, pal. Leave him alone. Leave Gumshoe alone. This place is stuffed with evidence. Stuffed with dreams. I don't... Hmm. Dreams. I'm not so sure about the dreams. Thank you, dreams. Phoenix. Dreams. Hmm. One open. Did you really think it would? Hey, pal, our security is high tech around here. Okay, time to slide to the right. Oh, hi. Well, well, well. What's this? Blood? At a crime scene? It's a little worn, but there's definitely a handprint here. I think it's time for a new minigame. Looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright! What if there are other bloodstains left in this room? Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, you're probably right. We should use our testing fluid to test check it out. But first... But first... Wow, someone must have broken something big to make all these pieces. I hope we don't have to put those back together. Yeah, me too. That would suck. Detective Gumshoe, perhaps? There you go, pal. Making me out to be some kind of hooligan. That's apparently from The Case. The case? The SL9 incident, pal. G keep up. <laughs> See the stick on one of those pieces there? Another piece of SL9 evidence. Take a Take closer, closer look. look. I wonder what shape these pieces were in before whatever was broke. You want to try and put it back together? No. Puzzles? Ha, good luck, pal. That's no job for amateurs. Why, I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give up. That's why I always carry around a tube of glue. Well, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. <laughs> okay. Uh, that one. The, uh, the, the one that you're hovering over and then flip it on its... Yeah, like that. Try that. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and then... Uh... Not, not that one. Um... No. Oh! 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 There we are. There we yes. are. There we are. There we are. There we okay. are. Okay. That looks right. I think no. Wait, I, I think that first. I th yeah, 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 yeah. That. I, I meant to press the, the uh -huh. key to put it in. Yes. Yes. It's coming together. Oh. Oh. Wow. Uh, tr try the um the other piece, the one on the far. Oh uh, yes. 
Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then, and then, and then you know, and then you know, because then you go like, and oh! Wait, there's a piece missing. That's fucked oh, up. Oh shit. Oh shit. Huh? Well, I think we did it, but some of the pieces are missing. That's bullshit! Yeah, I got that far too in two minutes myself. The problem is finishing it. Were some pieces stolen? You could have told us that ahead of time, Gumshoe. Yeah, seriously, what the fuck, man? I bet they were missing it to begin with. Still, doesn't look like the most stable kind of jaw. I kind of understand how it got broken. This jar Unstable sucks. jar. This jar sucks. <laughs> Sucky jar. Someone, Someone left a glove here. Oh. But only one. Yeah. Detective Gumshoe, maybe? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Leave the man alone! <laughs> there you go, pal. Making me out to be some kind of absent-minded detective. That's evidence from the case, you know. I almost went, like, Trump with that. <laughs> there you <laughs> no, go. Making you me out to be some kind of absent-minded president. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to make out <laughs> shit for that. I, uh... <laughs> so you have My a shark... I'm and sorry, then we have the boat with the battery. No, hang on, hang on. I, I don't know your audience. Is it okay for me to be making those kinds of jokes? <laughs> yes, on the channel yes where a, a non-binary vampire plays video games? Sorry, yeah, I think a, a, so. A non-binary communist vampire. Is this okay? <laughs> anarchist. Thank anarchist. you very much. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I actually you'll, you'll did make, mean to say anarchist. I, the wrong word. You'll make a certain mouth. segment of my audience very upset if you call me communist instead of anarchist. I I do apologize for that. I that that was just a case of the wrong word popping out of the mouth. They those people should get over themselves a little bit though. I will say. <laughs> Come on. All right. Um. Hang on. I'll be right back. I gotta let my dog out. I think she needs to go to the bathroom. Uh, one All right. sec. Ba, 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 ba. My apologies. <laughs> Sorry, she was uh, <laughs> just sitting like by my chair, going Row! up at me, and uh, she's pretty polite for the most part. So she's it, it was she's puppy only time. It was puppy time. She's a real good pup. You mean SL nine? It does have a tag on it. <laughs> Rubber glove. Fan ducky. Okay. Oh, more of this. Put these pieces together it makes a jar. Oh, there are two things that bother me. One, why are some of the pieces missing? Two, does it seem a little unstable? No wonder it broke. I'll make sure to remember that next time I make a jar. Phoenix is pottery? Good <laughs> shit. What is a saw and paint doing here? Since the dawn of time. Whoa. True art has always been a war against oppression. True art? I notice there's blue and yellow paint here. Perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of the blue badger? That unholy hellspawn? Oh my god, this place is tainted. Well, you might say this is my studio. Here? In the evidence room? I'm also, sure I love you, what but I'm oppression? Never gonna forgive you for uh, making. <laughs> what, what oppression? Yeah. The oppression <laughs> fighting of against? all that is good in the world. <laughs> I don't know. Look, this one's open. And the red indicator light above the door is lit. That locker is coated with Detective Goodman's fingerprint. Detective Goodman's locker. 
Are you sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Well, it'd be hard to get it open again once we closed it. You could just cut off his <laughs> hand. <laughs> it's empty. They must have taken the contents elsewhere. Okay. You can't recode it. Okay, does he have any more discussion points? Gumbo. Oh, no, yeah, that's right. We got to do this. Allow me to say one thing, speaking as a detective. If I see a piece of evidence I know nothing about, I say nothing. Nothing! That's fine. You bet it's fine, pal. Okay, how do we use it? How do we... Uh, use it. Uh, Wait, we... what if I am in here, in the examine mode, and then we go here. There we yeah. go. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh, I gotta click on it again. I yeah, forgot. <laughs> it's just gonna be there just forever, just like... Oh, oh. Why am I getting a reaction here? There's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if he fled out the door. I don't even know why I sprayed here. This just might be something significant. Hey. That's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. What, this? You don't have it? <laughs> yeah, it, it's called luminal testing fluid. Police use it all the time. Where did you get your hands on that? Huh? I like to get some too. I'll just borrow 50 bucks from the chief. Where do you get this, Emma? I always buy it by mail order. Well, I'd better jot this down on the floor plans. Slide to the right. right. It's a handprint on the fucker. I knew it. This is someone's right handprint. What? What's the matter, detective? Th this locker, it's mine. It's yours? Please. You have to help me when they come to take me away. Promise you'll testify that I wouldn't harm a fly. You'll do that for me, won't you, pals? This is an important clue. I'll jot it down on the floor plans. I'm counting on you guys. Believe me, you can't trust the police. <laughs> hey, cab! I swear Gumshoe is the only good cop. <laughs> <laughs> what? But you're a detective. That's how he knows. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the man is wise. Um, more spray? I think. Let's let's spray more. More and elsewhere. Oh gosh, my stream is. I'm looking at it again. Yeah. Uh. Oh, it doesn't have a spray option anymore. What? Oh wait, it does. Okay, good. It just um, didn't have the, it listed. Try the ground. Ha! It must have been one massive pool of blood. Never seen anything like it. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, detective? Hmm. Pale blue blood. Must have been a d d police. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Detective Goodman... Maybe Detective Goodman was actually an alien. <laughs> this proves that something really happened in front of this locker. It does not prove that he's an alien, I'm sorry. That would be <laughs> really cool, though. <laughs> I'll make a note of it on the floor plans. Hey, if you didn't want my opinion, you shouldn't have asked. <laughs> spray, spray, spray. I think we're good. I think so. Whoa, look at that. It won't spray well. underneath that. No. You can't look at There's where the badger... blood up here. <laughs> you can't look at where the badger was. Be too uh, powerful. That's too much true. blood from all the sacrifices. Okay. <laughs> um... Ah! Now that was a bloody violent case. Violent? So it was a murder? A serial killing. A serial killing. Maybe I don't want to get involved with this affair after all. 
But the Gellar made a mistake, and Mr. Edgeworth built his case around that to nab him. And this was two years ago? That put Mr. Edgeworth right in the spotlight and started the rumor mill. Rumors about forged evidence? It was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transfer the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Huh? What do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SL9 incident, see? So, so, that switchblade knife... The victim took the knife out of the Evans locker himself. Okay. Should we talk to... Um, Should we present Marshall him the level? knife, I guess? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, that's uh, no, the same we did shit. that, we did that. Uh, boop, boop, the lockers, maybe? Boop, boop. Uh, yeah, let's uh, try presenting some shit to... No. Incorrect. Incorrect. And we're gonna be here showing him shit. Incorrect. Oh my god. Let's make sure that he doesn't just have another talk bubble that, like, we didn't... That's true. Well. Okay. Fine. fine. We might not have even yeah. talked to him in the first place. I don't yeah. know. Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room, right? You got good eyes, partner. It's an easy job, and I'm grateful for it. Are you? Actually, Officer Meekins. Sorry, that's, me. I, that's fucking you. <laughs> actually, actually, <laughs> Officer Meekins at the detention center told us. Oh, uh, that poor little doggy. Poor guy. I keep getting his name wrong and calling him Meekly. Sure. It sort of works. He told us something. He said that when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your station. Hmm. Well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this. But since I got demoted from detective two years ago... Well, I might not look it, but I lost my fire for the job, you know? Really couldn't tell. So, what were you doing around 5.15 when the murder took place? Well... I reckon I was galloping down the highway on the back of my steed, Zippy. Note. He was riding down the highway on his horse named Zippy. Okay. There's no need for people here anyhow. These newfangled machines do a bang up job of keeping an eye on the place. That was a weird cadence, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the security camera system? I don't take the machines much. Kinda like that stewed broccoli they sneak in next to your steak, you know? Huh. Marshall. Miss Starr told us something. She said that you were a detective until two years ago. It was always my dream to be a rawhide wrangler on the scene of a crime. That's all gone now, like a drinking hole in a prairie fire. You're still investigating the SL9 incident with Miss Starr, aren't you? That was my case. It's all solved on the records books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. I can't let it go. That's all there is to it. Simple as. What kind of case was it, anyway? We've heard the name so many times, but no one tells us what actually happened. Hmm. There are some things you're better off not knowing, Bambina. Anyway, that case is... Officially dead, as of two days ago. Two days ago? The day of our case. That's right. The evidence transferals. Edgeworth was talking about the transferals, too. Do we gotta go to Edgeworth now? Maybe. I know what maybe two of the machines in here do. Maybe. Only two of them? There must be a dozen! One of them's not the coffee maker, is it? <laughs> like I said, Bambina, me and machines, well... I like them about as much as I like stewed cauliflower with my steaks. This guy hates vegetables. Yeah, he does. He must be so constipated. 
<laughs> the easiest ones to understand are these here security cameras. Those are the ones that Officer Meekins mentioned. If nothing happens, the tapes are automatically erased every few hours. Why do they love to automatically erase things? Like, that seems like a bad idea, yeah. I realized that this was before the time of cheap storage. Like, uh, you know, uh, digital storage. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's gotten really, really good. But still, like, it's a yeah. tape. Just find a place and to it's put not, the tape. It's not great quality tape either. Yeah. Like, should be pretty easy footage to store. Yeah. And Officer Meekins and Detective Goodman, are they on one of those tapes? I reckon they might be. You're the security guard and you reckon? One more thing. When you go into the evidence room, you need an ID card. Well, that's the card reader by the door. The card reader leaves a record of every ID card that passes through. Boom, 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 this is boom, one of the boom. machines I know to use. Okay, so we've got... Uh, so this is the ID card record. Yeah. Got some numbers seven, 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 seven. I At think 420. that's many sevens to it. Yeah, 420. Someone getting dank in the evidence locker. <laughs> hey, I've seen that somewhere before. Sorry, Bambina. I can't show you more than that. Huh? Not yet, anyways. Yeah, maybe later. I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. Mr. Wright, I saw a number on that record just now. I've seen that number before. Maybe there's some way I can prove that record is tied to the stabbing. But first, transfer all. Sorry, could you, could you explain this whole transfer all thing about? We keep only evidence from solved cases in this room. They're kept here under the presiding detective's supervision for two years. So we can reinvestigate them if it turns out there was a mistake, see? So what happens to the evidence after two years? It goes to sleep forever in the underground vault of the county sheriff's department. Is that vault underground? Is that where we got tased by Von Karma? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. That's what we call transfer. We do it every February. I see now. Transferal is like a funeral for old cases. Two years after a case is solved, it's closed forever. Dead. Never to be reopened again. Never to be reinvestigated. And that happened to SL9 two days ago. Okay. Should we show him an ID card? See this? This is the victim's ID card. Ah, oh, the one that was on the ground in the parking lot. The number on this is 5842189. Officer Marshall, show us that ID card record again. 5842189. There it is. Look, the fourth number. It's a perfect match. It was used at 514, right before the stabbing. What's more, there's only one of them cards in the world. So, when the incident occurred, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. But wait, what did Officer Meekins say? Who cares? Well, sir, I encountered the ev I entered the evidence room and I asked the man to display his ID. Card. <laughs> so you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID. Card. What did he do? <laughs> Well, that's the thing! Suddenly you pointed a knife at me! If he had his ID card then, why would he have pointed a knife at Officer Meekins? Hmm. Good question. Alright, compadre, you win. I guess I can give you this ID card record. Yay! Hooray! <laughs> I've got an idea. Maybe I should show this list to other people with IDs here. Ah. <laughs> okay. Uh. Let's go talk let's to Gumber Shumble. Gumshoe before we do anything else. Yeah. Uh. But do. Could you take a look at this? This is the ID card record for the people who came in on the day of the stabbing. Ah, I heard the rumors. So it was Goodman who came in here at the time of the murder. Whoa. What? What is it? That second number. 
It's not your ID number, is it, Detective Gumshoe? Mr. Edgeworth. What? The second number on this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth. What? You ever think about how um, Edgeworth wears a lot of red? He's a literal red herring. <laughs> Are you calling me a fish? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> how dare you? I'm going to sue you now. <laughs> Why would Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? What possible reason could a prosecutor have for coming into the ev evidence room? Uh, I don't know. Hey, pal, look at the time. Gotta go. Was there something you needed to be going to? It's just that Mr. Edgeworth's inquiry committee should be letting out soon. What a winky dink I'm gonna go give him my report for the day. What the? <laughs> what the fuck? That's no, from the man. last game. You can't do that. Oh my god. <laughs> this really... I, this So for those who don't know, this mission was made... Or this case was made mm. for the three-part collection. I think the original version, the, 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 on the DS, is when, they, yeah. when they put together all the Game Boy games together. Mm -hmm. Which means that they made it after they had made the rest of the trilogy. So there's references to all the other games. Yeah. Just strewn about, even though it's things that haven't happened in the canon yet in the time, yeah. you know? Yeah, and you and it and has you play them in this Trabian. order. Yeah, and that includes Trabian, so. <laughs> it might help, you know. R report? You mean a note written on the back of that flyer? The one that says nothing but no problems? Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure you could use a report like this. I believe in him. <sighs> Who needs enemies when you got friends like Detective Gumshoe? Oof. I'm off, pal. Later. Giggle. Should probably see what Edgeworth has to say, too. All right. Guard station. At least we know that we're going to the prosecutor's and office. Just to make sure uh, Gant did leave here, right? Uh, yeah, yes, he, he did. did. I guess we could. Uh, uh, okay. Underground parking lot. Par parking lot. And she's not a detective anymore. Okay. Yay. February 23rd, uh, I prosecutor's office, room 1202. Ah! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. My apologies. Oh, it's you. Have we met somewhere? No. <laughs> huh? All right. Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave. So long. Is Edgeworth here? There, standing by the window. A teacup in his hand. He's so majestic. <laughs> He's holding it so tightly, it looks like it's going to break and shatter in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. He has the hotel bring him tea service? They have very good tea. Mr. Edgeworth, you're back from the district prosecutor's office inquiry? I am. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. When is he not? Ah, oh, yes. He brought me the latest information, it seems. Really? Was it helpful? Apparently, a, few, a new French restaurant is opening near here. <laughs> I think he was trying to console me, somehow. Look at the back, look at the back. <laughs> uh, the real info is on the other side, Edgeworth. It is less helpful, arguably. <laughs> <laughs> arguably. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I think the, this whole thing is really taking a toll on him. So, how'd the inquiry committee go? Actually, they decided to treat this not as a case of concealing evidence, but as a communications error during the investigation. Concealing evidence? No, not that. Yes, apparently there are some who believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning. You were lucky this time. Again. Again? I've heard them say that so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. Tomorrow's trial. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still the presiding prosecuting attorney. 
However... Something happened? They gave control of the investigation over to the police department. The police department? Yes. Any further investigation for this case will be directed by the Chief of Police, Ghent. I can do nothing but wait for his results. I see. Why, I ask you? Why? All along, I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. Well, all right, my, my conduct in court has been a little all over the place prior <laughs> to meeting you, but still. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I've never seen this out of sorts. Present some evidence to Edgeworth. Evidence. Um, bum, the list? Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, right. I better check this now. As I was saying, I... Hmm? What's this? A record of ID card usage. Edgeworth, you went into the evidence room that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less? Yes, that's true. Well, why, Mr. Edgeworth? Please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go. My Chief Gantz, no less. The Chief of Police? He wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. He told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. But it was solved, right? It would have to be if the evidence was already filed. The Chief is never one to explain himself. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. It really has nothing to do with the current case. Now I'm curious about this other case. I better make a note of it. Mm. Stubborn as always. I told you this has nothing to do with the current case. Okie dokie. Uh, does he have any more dialogue? Right, please. I'm the prosecutor on this case. You don't expect me to sit here and discuss the case with you over a cup of tea. Well, maybe. I'll pass on the tea. Just tell me about the case. Mr. Wright, Mr. Edward just told you no in a very polite manner. Uh-huh. Whose side are you on, anyways? Maybe I'll just show him my best evidence I can get some reaction out of him. That was shitty evidence. <laughs> uh... I mean, it's definitely this, right? Mm. I know you. You've probably got a hold of some information already, right? It all has to do with that case you were on, the SL9 incident. And some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. You are the man who revived the worst memory of my life. I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. I learn about everything. He must be talking about his father's brother in that elevator. DL6. Yes, I must be. <laughs> okay, Edgeworth, why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. Ah, a Yay. talk option? A talk option! The SL9 incident was a heinous serial killing case. The head of the investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time. Damon Gant. That wacky old coot was involved with that case two years ago, too, then. He was a top officer, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Wow, you get nervous too, Mr. Edgeworth? What I want to know is why was the deputy chief of police on the investigation? In truth, I used slightly more extreme methods than normal. Well, you remember how I used to be. We were dealing <laughs> with a vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict, and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't? Of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. That time. Yes, I will do anything in my power to win a trial. However, I do have a code, and I follow it faithfully. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. But my sister? What? If you were still studying forensic science. Huh? Y yeah, it's all I talk about, of course. <laughs> Wait, just today, Mr. Wright and I were using this. 
Luminal testing fluid, hmm? Well then, you might have use for this. Aluminum powder for taking fingerprints? Oh my god! <laughs> it's been chemically treated for better adhesion. F for me? Are you sure? We are the enemy, you know. I have no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. I love the cheeky smile. <laughs> <laughs> Edgeworth, I'm really... No need to thank me. Here, take your powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. I, uh, th thanks. How about giving these to Detective Gumshoe as well? He won't know how to use them. Be practical. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get going! One last investigation! Right. I do seem to remember seeing a sp suspicious sp 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 sand print somewhere. Maybe he only has three bubbles. Okay. Hey, she's gone. She left. Incredible. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank fuck. <sighs> okay. God, we're almost and out of here. he's gone. Tick, 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 February 23rd, tick, tick. evidence room, sector three. Our investigation turned up a suspicious handprint. I just can't hit that word today, apparently. Here, in the blood on the detective's evidence locker, a suspicious handprint. <laughs> Let's use the secret weapon that we just borrowed. <laughs> Right, let's get started. First, choose a finger. A finger? Each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. No, what's a finger? I need to explain I need an explanation of what a finger is. Okay, so anatomically speaking. So let's <laughs> choose a finger that will have you point with your finger all the time, Mr. Right. That's what it is. <laughs> so let's choose the finger that will have left behind the clearest print. I really can't tell the difference at a glance. Quit procrastinating and choose a finger. Let's go with this one. Sounds good. Okay, now it's time to check for prints. Let me show you how it's done. Emma's starting to get that sparkle in her eyes. First, we sprinkle the aluminum powder around. Huh? How do you do that? With enter, see? Oh, okay. Ah, it looks like that did the trick. The aluminum powder adheres completely to the print. Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess. Hmm? How do I do that? With E. Exciting, I know. Not as exciting as it was on the DS where you could actually blow it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine you're blowing out the candles on a birthday cake, see? Wow. That looks like fun. Might take some getting used to, though. It's fine. It won't go up your nose or anything. You just pour the powder on thick and blow away the extra. Okie dokie. Those are the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. Wright. I guess I'd better give it a try. Get dusted. Get dusted. Dusted Look at all this prints. cocaine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Snort it up. Ah oh, yeah, that's not really a nice line there. Fe do, you, do you think you have enough, by the way? No, I don't think so. I think I need to. Oh, you sure? I, I accidentally clicked off the game. <laughs> <laughs> I was clicking so vigorously. You, you don't think that that's maybe a, enough powder? No, we're gonna no, spend think... it all on this one fucking fingerprint. <laughs> Edgeworth gave it to us for a reason. We gotta use it. We gotta yeah, we, use I think all we're. Of it. I think we've used it. <laughs> Just don't hit back. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, okay. <laughs> Are you, I, you, I'm not sure you got enough. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. It was no fingerprints. Ah, <laughs> oh, you did it. You found something. <laughs> but. This looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm. Now you mention it, I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? <laughs> I think it means we're out of luck. It think it means? It think it means <laughs> out of luck. <laughs> out of luck? 
The person who left this handprint must have worn gloves. Oh. Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here. Hey, I used down. so much you're, of this powder. You're, you're the one that used like <laughs> half of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just the way it goes with sometimes with scientific investigations. But it does seem a shame. Well, rat it. Why don't we look for other prints? Other prints? Looking at the locker door again closely. It seems like there are fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Hmm. Fingerprints outside the blood. Like that? Like that. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's, it's not happy with that, huh? Yeah, it's not. Oh apparently. my god. Let's, let's touch up those edges a little bit. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yay! A print so clear it's dazzling! D dazzling. Anyway, this print looks took a lot of effort to find. You're telling me. Let's match it up right away. So we're not done yet? Ugh, this is quite a process. Well, there's no point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is, right? I guess she's right. Look at the fingerprint data. We got... Look at the finger... I couldn't decide between data and data in that moment, so... <laughs> Look at the data. fingerprint da data that we got from Mr. Edgeworth. Sticking out and your data out for the Rizzler. <laughs> <laughs> and point out the person you think left these sk skibbity prints. I, I don't know, dude. I'm old. <laughs> if, if, this, if this game was made today, Emma would say skibbity. Yeah. One hundred and ten percent. Huh? How am I supposed to know who that who it was? I could make a pretty good guess. The bloody handprint and the fingerprints are in a different place, right? That means the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. So whose fingerprints would we most likely find on this evidence locker? I wonder. Mr. Gumshoe. Well, well, well. Comparison complete. Match found. Aha! So these prints belong to Detective Gumshoe. Why is he so angry in that picture? I hmm. don't know. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? He gave me this so what look. I guess that's probably because I was thinking, so what? Okay, so we came up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. You gotta roll with the punches, Mr. Wright. Hmm. Thanks for the sympathy. Wait, if I remember correctly, there was one other handprint in this room. Let's check it out. Slide to the left. Find the thing. Or do we have to click on the thing first? Yeah, let's click on the spot first and then it'll maybe. <laughs> maybe. The, maybe. Eek. Oh, we have to be an examination. There oh, we yes. go. Examine and then we and then this is where we got the luminal fluid reaction, right? Right. There was a handprint here. Okay. Want to try using this? There go her eyes sparkling again. Yeah, let's, check for no, prints. Let's them. Okay, let's check for prints. That's a spirit. Spirit Halloween. Wow. Oh, but I have to warn you about something first. What? Well, this is a carcinogen. And, no. The area with the <laughs> blood was wiped away, right? We only ended up finding it with chemical means. Any prints that are in that area will have been wiped away, too. Oh, right. So that means no prints. Would you say that the probability of your hypothesis is high? D don't ask me. Anyway... 
We must try to find prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. Um, so should we be looking for like where there could be a handprint? Like, like where there should be a finger? Right yeah! here. Yeah! Look at that! Thanks, Reticle. Reticle's got our backs. Mm hmm. It always does. Yep. Let's make sure we get this nice and happy. Yep. Oh, really happy. Yeah, really, Cocaine really, levels really are happy. happy. We are. <laughs> We're doing levels of cocaine unheard of uh, <laughs> since the time of 1980s Hollywood. <laughs> Bam. All right, kids, who is it? Is it Mike Meekins? Is it that one really fucking <laughs> the, the obviously? Exactly is it the one that exactly looks like it? exactly like it? <laughs> Comparison complete. Match found. I don't know why I gave the computer that voice, but we're rolling with <laughs> it. It works. Yep. Hey, these fingerprints, they... Whose are they? Whose? Is it someone I know? No. It's Officer Marshall. Huh? Officer Jake Marshall? Marshall fingerprints added to court record. That's gotta be a coincidence. He, he's not involved in the crime. Emma. This is decidedly different from Detective Gumshoe's prints. Uh. The luminol reaction, the blood and the fingerprints, they're in the same place. Oh. Oh. So we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints on a wiped blood stain. But why would Officer Marshall... It looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. Huh? I guess this is what you'd call decisive evidence. I... I don't believe it. Oh to shit, we did it! To be continued! Oh my god, Thank we god. hit the Two and a half hours! <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, this case. Fucking marathon shit, dog. Oh, I peaked my audio there, but it was worth it. Uh, we save on this one, the old yes, one. Yes, we save on the old Overwrite. one. Overwrite. Ever since the <gasps> trauma. Okay. Oh my god. God. Jesus Christ. That's an episode? That's an question mark, I guess. It could be two. I, oh or man, three. I don't I've been I've been liking how I split them up into just the like the investigation, but like I might have to just split up investigation into investigation former and investigation yeah. latter. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Like they do for the trial. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Well. Hey there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got a lot more for you if you want them. Just hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications. I'd also appreciate if you left me a like and a comment and maybe shared the video around with your friends. You can also follow me on all the usual social media sites. Just check out my website in the description below for more info. My videos are funded by my patrons and YouTube members whose names you'll see scrolling by in these credits here. For just a dollar a month, you too can find yourself here, trapped in my end screen for all eternity. In particular, I'd like to thank Haru Hayes, Flea Kill, Frog Prince Michael, and Jeremiah Coatney. A big thanks to all my other patrons and to my little community as a whole. Remember to be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and have a wonderful whatever time it is for you. Bye!